Oh, it's chilly. And this morning I had no ability to preheat the car because my phone is still acting as the house broadband. Oh, after a two hour phone call yesterday to the broadband technical help team at BT. And guess what I've got to do this morning? I've got to ring a whole nother number. Amazingly annoying. Oh, still, what can you do? I'm seriously considering just using mobile broadband and canning this whole landline nonsense. Oh well, I better jump on the phone. Here we go again. This is like a full-time job. I'm gonna miss a vlog post because of this if I'm not careful. Literally, I put two hours into it last night. I have a feeling this is gonna be another couple of hours today. They're putting me through to the faults department. This will be the third person I've spoken to in about three hours worth of work. I don't get paid enough for this. Three different people over three different hours on two different days. The end result is apparently they're gonna take ownership of the problem and bring us back and actually deal with it. But they can't do anything until the engineers have had a look at what's going on. So it's gonna be 24 hours at least, a minimum, before they even have a clue as to what needs to be fixed or how. It's not really funny. No, it's not funny at all. But it's a capsule beating. Yeah, but we have to replace it with something. I mean, we to be honest... replace it with like a, a pigeon. Yeah, well, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not far off just going round to a bunch of mobile phone stores and seeing if they've got a decent mobile broadband deal I can do. <sighs> so it's another day of telecommunications hell for us. <laughs> What? I'm not exaggerating. It's like having a power cut and the electricity company says, yeah, no, we can't be asked." Well, I managed to have my run. That's something. Time to go get Jasper and... I think what we're going to do in a couple of days is go and hide at my parents' house with their working broadband for like 48 hours. Come on, Jazzy, jump out then. It'll have to count up. That's interesting. Hang on, Jasper, wait for Daddy. Uh oh, I do hope this is good news. Right, I'm just going to go ask the BT chat how it's going. We're hopeful of getting internet. Not on the phone line we originally thought, but on a different one. Okay. Might be working. Oh, no, it isn't working. And I'm at it again. You're probably thinking 16 minutes isn't that bad. But this is the second, third call or something of the day. What do you think the end result of that phone call was that I just finished having? No, unplug it from the wall, wait 35 minutes, then plug it back in and see if it works. So, no internet still. Still using my phone. I'm really starting to miss my phone. And I'm not going to moan about the internet anymore. What was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, I hope this doesn't become a thing. The Barstow California Supercharger has been sabotaged. The main power carrying lines have all been snipped and they've gone and nicked all the circuit breakers. I have no idea why somebody would be minded to do something like this, but you know, just before Thanksgiving weekend, not cool. Basically means that I think you can still get from LA to Vegas, but it's a push now. It's, you know, you need to plan for it. So yeah, I definitely hope that does not become a, a thing because I remember when we first had the Ecotricity Electric Highway and they had emergency stop buttons and they weren't behind glass or anything, they were just sitting on the side of the machine and kids would press them because they thought it was hilarious and then engineers had to come out and reset them. The end result was the couple of quick chargers we had on the motorways at that time were basically permanently out of action. Mmm, not cool. But then I think for the most part Ecotricity started putting the emergency stop buttons behind a thin sheet of glass and I think that kind of you can still use it if you need to stop the machine sure but it just creates a little bit of a mental barrier you know you actually realize that you're doing something wrong obviously that's not quite the same scale as industrial sabotage probably a big oil company or something I hope you've enjoyed today's blog post if you have remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye! I'm sorry about all this internet trouble, it has been 
all consuming for me. In the last 24 hours, I think I've spent six of it either talking on the phone to BT or talking to their engineer or ah, really annoying. So anyway, we won't have any of that trouble tomorrow, I am quite sure.